In recent years, Nashville's certainly seen a boom in beautiful murals springing up around the city. And if you drive through one neighborhood, you'll see a number of colorful creations featuring some famous faces. And it's only become greater over the course of 12 years. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders shares the story. I can express myself, sort of meditate, and I can just get in the zone, and it, it just feeds me. Fences are usually something that separate people. But this work painter Scott Guyon has done off and on for 12 years is something that brings people together. These are the fences of the Berry Hill neighborhood. Getting to study the lives of the different artists out here, it, it's, it's just fulfilling, man. The neighborhood is, of course, full of recording studios. This work all began when the owner of the House of Blues studio called Scott to bring a little life to the area. Suggested that I paint some of his favorite artists. Who's the greatest of the greats? Who can we honor? Every once in a while, he'd call me up and say, hey, I built a new fence. <laughs> Why don't you come paint the fence? Oh, and it's everyone. A coal miner's daughter, the king of pop, the fab four, music geniuses, talents lost too soon. A bold voice in psychedelic rock who's a mural neighbor to a piano playing pioneer of rock and roll. I'm listening to their music, I'm watching videos, and I'm learning. After five years away from these murals, the East Irish studios have moved in and asked Scott for this new fence. What a high honor to paint these giants of music. He's now painted about 70 famous faces in the neighborhood. Like everyone on the planet, I've loved Dolly Parton. One day I got a really beautiful note from uh, Greg Allman's widow telling me how much that she enjoyed the portrait. Today, his speaker driving the art. Scott adds one more. Led Zeppelin. Yeah, I've been practicing this mural since I was in uh, high school, you know, drawing it on my notebook. So I pr I, hopefully I've got it down by now. Scott's not sure if this will be his final mural in Berry Hill. But if this is it, the end of a 12 year journey, he's happy to bring people all these faces to teach a new generation of music lovers and to pay tribute to the greats. I'm Boris Sanders, News Channel 5. First, you got to have Led Zeppelin. Right. Second, if I if you had a fence there, I'd want him to come and paint it. Absolutely. So How cool, cool though. And yeah. you know, it's generational too. I'm sure there's parents taking their kids down there and they're like, "Who's that?" And he's like, "Let me let me play it for you here." Yeah, on the radio. Here we go. Love that.